Do we see this? Zoom in here. What in the heck is going on here? What is going on there? Look at the bottom. What's going on here? And then, okay, so, okay, let's do it. So for step one, what do we do with this, okay? So let's define what this is. This is a titanium device, okay? And let's just, to define what that is, luckily we're in a place where I can show you a titanium device is, so this is one side of it here. On the other side, if I remove this acrylic layer, this is what we have here. And you can see the titanium bar inside. It's surrounded by acrylic. And then on the outside, you have uh, ceramic teeth, okay? Um, so that's exactly what she has inside here. We don't have a problem with the bar. This is called a polylithic device. Polylithic meaning that it's made up of three different items. We got ceramic, ceramic teeth, we have acrylic, and then we have uh, a titanium bar. And that connects into a titanium abutment into a, a titanium implant, okay? Now, if we look there, what I want you to notice is this, is that these teeth on top overlap these bottoms by a pretty big amount. It's okay to have it overlap as long as from a sideways position that the top teeth and bottom teeth aren't hitting when you're chewing and eating, meaning that there's a little bit of space between the two so that when she's chewing, that there isn't a collision here in the front that makes it so the teeth are on the front are having a lateral force pushing the teeth out. What happens is as these teeth have worn down, and these teeth get more, you can see it more here. As, as, they've, as they've worn down, the vertical position of the lower jaw. So this, let's, let's say this represents the jaw. This was at one point, like down just a little bit, like here. I'll just exaggerate a little bit. And then as the teeth have worn down, now nothing's holding them apart and they collapse. We have a collapse bite. So why does that happen? Because again, Grinding, clenching, causes teeth to wear out. All teeth do this. All of them do it. Um, even our natural teeth. Even zirconia teeth will wear. If you have two uh, forces that are the same, they'll wear against each other too. They're just a lot stronger and take a lot more time to do it. Why this is a problem here is that this is a polylithic device, meaning that we basically have three different parts that are come together. And all these parts are not made of a solid one, one frame piece. Like a zirconia device, if I was to show you one that has not been painted, it's all one piece, okay? Meaning that it's all one piece before you put all the paint on it. Do you see how it's all one? Versus this here, where we have a device with parts and pieces that go together, okay? So, now, let's get back to here. So, when, when her bite is collapsed and it, the back teeth are worn down and flat, what happens is that you see these front teeth are colliding and that's what causes the teeth to break out if we look really closely right here is the teeth wear down this one moves up and when uh when teeth lose vertical they go up and they go out so now they have a tendency to collide the front forces should be managed always with teeth in the front the back is where most of the, the the chewing is done and that's where all the forces are best distributed okay it's like a fulcrum like when you're you know uh, trying to crack a nut during christmas you put that nut right towards the back and that fulcrum where it's at is going to generate the most pressure if you try to do that in the front then it, it creates pressures that are too strong and then you have teeth breaking out so that's so so today so the treatment today is we can we can put teeth back in okay we can she has a couple teeth here and I can say, do you want a whole brand new tooth um, and have this uh, match perfectly? Or do we want to use this tooth and do the best we can to camouflage it? Uh, and so, so there's a conversation here we're gonna have uh, about replacing these three teeth. But that's a short-term fix. The long-term fix is that we have to basically recreate that vertical and meaning that how close those teeth are touching together is, is really important. And so if we look here, and, uh, you know, we have to basically drop that back down. So how do we do that? We can replace back teeth and, and the front teeth. So if we replace all the teeth, 
essentially what's going to happen is you're going to be, be able to put the, the gin back down and then you're not colliding in the front like you were like you are now okay it's basically like uh trying to essentially put a new roof on in a sense alternatively we can just demo the house and just put a new house in and that would be going to a zirconia device you know something like this right that's monolithic so you could upgrade and we can basically take the data off of this these teeth and we can go into a zirconia device that looks the same we have a device that's already been made we don't have to go through the design process we just basically have to reestablish the vertical and then copy what we have if you want to have the teeth redone and changed say you want like to make lots of changes then we need to increase the price to the normal price but the you know, you can continue to put band-aids on and put teeth on like this. Um, but the other thing we need to talk about too is just the maintenance, the hygiene. And so I think going to zirconia device is definitely going to help you more. But my biggest issue is this is that long-term, we're going to lose implants if we're not careful. Okay. Um, so again, to, to come full circle here, I, I recommend upgrade when it all comes down to it. The price you're getting, you're getting a much better price on the upgrade than the retread. Now, last thing I want to bring up is uh, hygiene one more time. We want we really want to take this off we should be able to take this off and it should look like this right we want it nice and smooth we don't want any plaque inside there so we need to get to a point where that's happening um you know when we need decades for this stuff to last this accumulates and causes the implants to have bone loss around them when you have bone loss then um you know it's like it's like you just basically have injured the the foundation of the whole the, the whole house this for all those listening if you have questions or comments about this um, please leave them here subscribe so you can get my next uh, live type any youtube live videos that i do and um, hopefully this has been educational for you have a great day we'll see you